In this video, I want to explain exponential notation. Exponential notation is a way to write numbers so they don't take up too much space. And we see it often in statistics programs when there are very large or very small numbers involved. So you may have seen numbers like these that have the letter E in them. These numbers are actually very easy to interpret if you know that E means move the decimal point. Actually, it stands for the word exponent, but for us, it means move the decimal point. You should move the decimal point as many places as the following number. So five places here or eight places here. If there is a minus sign like here, then you should move it to the left. So you end up with a very small number. If there is a plus sign or nothing, like here, then you move it to the right, so you end up with a very large number. So let us look at this number. Which number is it? Let's follow the rules. There is no sign here, which is the same as a plus, and it means we should move the decimal point to the right. So the first thing we can do is to add a bunch of zeros so that we have enough. This doesn't change our number. It's still the same number written in this way, but then we're going to start moving. So we have to move the decimal point by five places to the right. So we start with this one, which is the same, and then we move one, two, three, four, five. This is our number. We discard the unneeded zeros. So any zeros after the decimal point, we throw out, and this is it. So this number is this number. It's just a different way to write it. And in fact, if we take into account that you can have a lowercase or uppercase e, the plus sign is optional. And you can also have some zeros before the exponent in order to keep constant the amount of space taken by numbers in certain statistical programs, then all of these numbers down here are exactly the same. They're just different ways, different variants of writing this one. What about this number? Let's follow the same steps. First of all, we see there is a minus sign this time. So we have to move the decimal point to the left. So we add a bunch of zeros to the left of our number without changing it. And then we move the decimal point. So this is our starting number. And we move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's our number. We have an extra zero there, which we throw out. And this is what we're left with. So this is just a way to write this one. And again, taking into account variation that we may encounter, these are all exactly the same number.